Hawaii Group sets record for largest haul of plastic removed from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Here's a summary of the article. Ocean Voyages Institute says it made history this week, returning to the port of Honolulu Tuesday, after successfully removing 103 tons of fishing nets and consumer plastics from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. We exceeded our goal of capturing more than 100 tons of toxic consumer plastics and derelict ghost nets and in these challenging times, we are continuing to help restore the health of our ocean, which influences our own health and the health of the planet. Known as the ghost net buster, Mary Crowley is renowned for developing effective methods to remove significant amounts of plastics out of the ocean, including 48 tons of plastics during two ocean cleanup voyages in 2019, including one that scooped up nets that had trapped garbage around the Hawaiian Islands. The ocean frequently sorts the floating debris so that a tagged fishing net can lead to other nets and a density of debris within a 15-mile radius. Ocean Voyages Institute has been a leader in researching and accomplishing ocean cleanup for over a decade, granted with less fanfare and attention than others, but with passion and commitment and making meaningful impacts. Ocean Voyages Institute unloaded the record-breaking haul of ocean plastic debris this week while docked alongside Pier 29, thanks to the support of Honolulu-based Matson, in preparation for upcycling and proper disposal. Ocean Voyages Institute is launching a second voyage that will depart in two days to continue cleanup of the area, but its length will be determined by donations and fundraising. This post received a score of 67,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. The company is Ocean Voyages Institute and you can donate on their page here. Do you find it ironic that a handful of corporations are responsible for the vast majority of plastic waste at the expense of the earth while reaping trillions of dollars and it's the working class who has to volunteer and donate to clean up the mess that they are the victims of? Privatize the gains, socialize the losses. You said that my guy. You said that my brother. Brother. 48 days and 100 tons. I'm so glad someone is out there doing this as the planet desperately needs people exactly like this. But the operating costs for that ship and crew along with the sheer physical labor used to gather that plastic must be huge. I hope however these guys are paying for this trip doesn't dry up. These are the people who are actually living to help the earth. Props to them, let's hope it continues and they actually do expand like he says. Can we donate to these people? The company is Ocean Voyages Institute and you can donate on their page here. I'd like to see some millionaires and famous folk line up with their checkbooks out. More likely to happen if they were considered a non-profit, so that donors can get tax write-offs. Edit, they are. Ocean Voyages Institute OV is a 501 C3 non-profit organization founded in 1979 by a group of international sailors, educators, and conservationists with a mission of teaching maritime arts and sciences and preserving the world's oceans. Quote. I did commercial fishing for two years. It's really sad to see how much garbage gets thrown into the ocean. All trashed line. All garbage. All damaged or unusual gear that was taking up space, oil, broken engine parts. Pretty much anything you didn't want on board. It's lawless out there. Who's gonna stop you? I wonder if it would be more effective to create a financial reward for bringing in old gear. Pay dollar X, ton of old gear, etc., so fishermen make more money by bringing it back than dumping it. Clearly punishments aren't working. There's a lot. For instance we'd have to pull in miles of spun-up line if a shark got caught in it or if a big fish fought hard and tangled it. We've got to pull it in by hand or cut it off. It takes up time we could be using to get to the next fish before a shark gets to it or it gets cooked by the sun. So it's easier just to cut it and leave it and move on. That's incredibly fucked up. Those nets just float around killing one thousands more fish and wildlife. People want tuna and don't care how it's done. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.